today we're actually joining the boys at Garage Porch. We're gonna go to an Audi meet and finally taking this car to its first car meet. Kind of see um, how much attention it gets because driving this car around, I've noticed that a lot. It actually gets quite a bit of attention, like uh, more than you would actually think it does. You know, for a Porsche, I think it is one of the better looking Porsches out there. Even compared to the GT3, I think this is a lot better looking in um, just in so many areas like the front, the rear, especially compared to the last like GT4. The, the last GT4 rear end I think wasn't the best, but this one is so, so pretty. Unfortunately, since we got here kind of late, we're parked in the back, but there's a lot of, there's a pretty big turnout, I have to say. Uh, there's an ISF that's behind us that looks pretty sick, but yeah, some goodies are ready. We have the, we have the car all the way there, so yeah, it's in the back lot, so it's not going to get too much attention, but I set up the GoPro anyway, but this thing is massive. Look at that. They have a Maserati MC, DC MC. This is a 2012 right here. You know how I can tell it's because of the seats. They only offered those seats with the 2012 and the final kicker would be the steering wheel Yeah, the steering wheel and the steering wheel and the gauge cluster are blue This is so cool. Holy crap. Also chalk gray. It's a GT3. Thanks GV I'm definitely gonna get this when my AMC hits. Oh, it's a manual too. Oh my god This is per this is a perfect upgrade to the GT4 this yeah, is like your uh, twin spec though. Yeah, this calibers. Holy, you guys see this black series? So what I'm currently trying to do with the C250s, make it as close to this <laughs> as I possibly can. <laughs> so I have the AG black hey, series, which is the actual black. Dream big. Dream big. I will pay to see this. If anyone can do it, it's you. Yeah. It's yeah. Gonna be just, it's just taped on. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is so sick. Look at the front. Ooh. Goodness. Yeah, so the black series is gonna look like this. Uh, I think I might, you know, I might as well wrap it satin black just so that it can look as close as possible to this and make the roof like gloss. ACR, bro. Man, the lineup here is hey, insane today. Well, I, don't, I don't need a We got the 765 LTRs, yeah, well, okay. maybe a 720 with a body kit. Can't really tell from here. But there, you have another 720, kind of another 720 SVJ over there. There's a Venador S over yonder. A bunch of R8s. We have this e-tron looking pretty sick and this new eqs which i think looks ugly as hell especially from the front and then here we have the e92 so this is a car i've been lo looking at closely now and this is exactly yeah this is supercharged i wouldn't supercharge mine but i would put the same front bumper on mine i would never put a supercharger on mine stroker stroker huh stroker what do you mean Pour it out bigger. Uh, it's still NA. NA, but. Yeah, but just it, bigger, so. Oh, you have I to see. Change a lot. You have to change a lot. It's expensive, but. Uh, it's, it's internal. Oh, really? It's full internal. You're boarding. You're, you're boarding the you're cylinder head, so. Cylinder, so, cylinder, so it's the the bigger. So, what's the. I can't remember what the liter size for the engine is. This is a 4 liter V8. But then, they, so when you bore it out, you what is it? 4.4. Oh, it's a 4.4? Holy yeah. crap. It's going really big. But then the reliability is the shit. And after shit. Yeah. Look at this thing, man. This is really exactly what I want right now. So really debating. I had the GTM. I had the GTMC, but now this has been coming up, and I think I might actually pull the trigger on one. And I'm gonna show you guys in another video the exact car I'm looking at. But definitely not the supercharger though. But well, that's pretty insane. Final verdict is that the car all the way at the end over there pretty much got lost in the sauce because of all the other 
crazy insane cars that were that joined us this uh this grand old morning. Oh this is Daniel. <laughs> and there's Vince over there. But yeah this this week was actually pretty cool pretty cool. Just the amount of cars that kinda of showed up. I thought it was gonna be mostly Audi but pretty much everything came here kind of in massively insane. Um, but the wow this is I wonder if that's gonna fit. So right now they're doing launches to get out of here, but I think the final verdict is that it didn't really get that much attention just because of the cars that were here. But maybe if we take it to a smaller meet or something. There's a Senna GTR just like right there. <laughs> Senna GTR. Oh, that's the one they. Hey, that's what you sent me last night. All right, thanks for watching this episode, guys. If you just wanted to know, it's eighty dollars to fill up the entire tank of this thing. Uh, but I don't think we actually took a whole good look at this car yet from all the angles, but. Yeah, the the license plate it's kind of funny. I don't I can't catch it on video. That attracts a lot of attention and gets a lot of uh, what do you call this? Gets a lot of photos. Like you can tell like when people are sitting behind me in traffic, I can just see people whipping up their phones and taking pictures of it. It's kind of rad. But here it is in the flesh, the Porsche GT4, looking pretty sick. But yeah, uh, thanks guys for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys on the next one.